Hey, what's going on guys? Godside is here. So, the new update for PF came out, and everyone's preaching just about the two new snipers, which is fun and all, but I'm more interested in this new carbine, the KAC SRR. So, for those of you guys who haven't looked into it yet, because normally if I saw a new carbine, I wouldn't really care either, but I had to check this one out. It does a one-shot headshot at any range, 400 rate of fire, and doesn't have any too insane of recoil. Like, you can actually shoot it relatively quickly and stay accurate. Now think about that, this shoots as fast as like DMRs and one shot headshots, that's insane, okay well maybe the DMR comment isn't really that accurate but nonetheless, the gun is insanely strong. The one shot headshot at any range makes this like, for those of you guys who didn't play like back in the day, when the VSS, or not the VSS excuse me, when the Dragunov SVU was able to one shot headshot at any range for a little bit, that's basically what this is. And it's nuts, right, like when you think about that. 400 rate of fire. Let's actually look real quick. So DMRs, the MK11 shoots at 330. So this actually shoots faster than the MK11 and slightly slower than the SKS and one shot headshots. That's nuts. No, like, okay, obviously it doesn't have the same 20 bullets as anything else, but it's still incredibly powerful. And I don't understand why nobody seems to be talking about it yet. So I'm not going to do like the whole update in just one video. I'm probably going to space it out over a few and talk about everything kind of collectively in each video so like a video dedicated to all the new stuff but this is my main focus and this is what i really want to showcase first because having a gun that's automatically suppressed so you're not even going to show up on radar really you're going to be hard to spot why are they testing announcements <laughs> but it gives you so much like so much power in playing a game that you're not on the map you're one shot headshotting and even to the body it's not hard just to get those two shots off and kill someone now my major thing as like a lot of people will come to notice is that it has a lot of bullet drop that's going to be the issue for a lot of people because this isn't like your standard sniper bullet drop by any means it's a lot more so it's definitely going to take time to get used to even i'm struggling with it a decent bit because it is just so unusual to any other gun there's a guy right above me and i really just don't want him to peek me oh my god all right <laughs> i heard him running around me but i think he jumped down or he died either one works for me honestly but yeah like Granted, my accuracy is being terrible right now, but look at how fast you can shoot and how fast you can actually get kills. Like, ooh, that wasn't a headshot? Okay, cool. And he's camping in literally the back of the map with a BFG. Why wouldn't he be? Word. Anyways, we're just gonna keep going, dude. I honestly, this might be my new, like, to go, like, go to fun gun. If that makes sense like usually something like the honey badger is something i really enjoy using because it isn't like anything too insanely overpowered but it's just fun to use this might be the new go-to honestly because it's basically using a revolver that just one shots at any range and that's when you think about it it literally is an extended revolver that's at least how they describe the gun and whatnot so it is an extended revolver so yeah i mean if you enjoy playing games where you can just like one tap with a pistol or like a desert eagle or something this basically your way to go, honestly. <laughs> this is more or less like the CSGO variant of a Desert Eagle, and it's so enjoyable, bro. I had a clip with it earlier that I probably should have recorded for the sake of putting into the video, where just six bullets, six headshots, all at like a really nice speed. Oh my god. Bro, I need to practice this bullet drop so much. This is like maybe my second game using it. I don't know, but yeah, I would definitely need to practice with it, that's for sure. But like I said, even the close range, man, like this is a really strong gun and I wouldn't be surprised if it got nerfed in all honesty because it's hard to I don't know I don't know if I can really justify this in my head with how fast it shoots if they nerfed the rate of fire a little bit it would not surprise me now do I want it nerfed maybe I feel like I would have to do a lot more testing with this gun before I could say honestly if I want the gun to 100% be nerfed or not but my initial impressions yeah i feel like the fire rate does need to be changed for the sake of like keeping this balanced but i don't know man <laughs> it's tough i don't want to give just please understand when i'm making videos on like these new update stuff these are all very much initial opinions they're kind of ignorant in a sense where i haven't looked into them an incredible amount it's like my first few times using the gun and this is just how i feel about it so be patient with me on that i'll definitely try to do like kind of follow-up videos to these later on um and have a more accurate opinion and a more educated one about things but as of right now 
This kind of nuts. This kind of both quirky and unique. Bro, why am I missing so much? Oh my god. I feel like I can barely see the laser with the coyote sight right now. So maybe a different sight would probably work better for me. Especially since this can... Ooh. Especially since this can one shot at all ranges. I would probably benefit from throwing like a TA-33 ACOG on it. Well, let's actually try that real quick. Because they're just going to be camping in the back there. So let's throw on a TA-33 ACOG. And we can kind of change the sight on it a bit. And see how that works for us. So instead of the full zoom, we'll have this and see where we can go because i feel like i can actually see the laser a lot better with this compared to coyote so probably will work out better did they all die oh you guys are literally the reason i grabbed the sight oh no okay okay no okay wow just an, an, hmm. i'm not even gonna talk about it we're just gonna leave it at that it's it's done it's over with that happened i'm embarrassed it's there's not much i could do Jeez, man all right let's get back up to somewhere where we can like kind of accurately sit and hold down their spawns a little bit Ooh, did i oh i thought i got that kill whatever assist count is kill we can't complain let's see where they're at they should be spawning back here but my teammates are kind of all over the map which sucks Ooh, body shots body shots why do they bro i swear whenever i'm shooting at some people they literally just like stop moving and then move at random times and they the people who have no idea what they're doing are dangerous let me just put it that way because if they have no idea what they're doing there's no way i can predict they're gonna do something and it just goes downhill another thing is i saw that they changed i most definitely did not mean to hit r right there so that they changed the velocity of some guns so the bullet travel time is going to be a lot different that's something that i kind of will probably make a whole video on talking about because that's a major update in my eyes that's they changed they said the velocity of like all or muzzle velocity or whatever of all snipers or not all but a lot of them to kind of give them a unique feeling and that's tough man for someone who's been using snipers for like you know playing the game using snipers for over three years now that's a major change to the game and that's going to be uh, it's going to be a real adjustment to say the least let's see See, that's still not even a headshot. That is, though. Jeez, the bullet drop on this thing is wild, but that's to be expected with the silencer on it. Let me kill... Okay, that guy's just annoying me. He has to die real quick. Hold up. Where are you, bud? Did he die already? Bro, every time I have, like, someone that I want to kill, someone on my team <laughs> gets him before me. <sighs> All right. Let's get this guy. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Nope, we're just bad at the game. That's cool. I'm really excited to try to use this gun on something like Metro. That's where I feel like this is going to thrive with like a short range like Coyote Sight or something on it and where you don't really have to worry about bullet drop all that much. That's where the gun's going to go sicko, like honestly. When there's not much bullet drop and you're in close quarters and all you have to do is just hit headshots, as long as you can aim, you're golden. Like you're going to destroy with this gun and that's what makes me so excited for it. Now we only have a minute left in this game. I'm not going to go like re-record for anything like that like i don't care about the 10 minute ad revenue stuff but this is exciting this is kind of a really big update now i also i know i've been preaching about bug updates recently but i haven't seen many issues with bugs now it might just be because i'm not playing as much as i used to so i don't really i'm not really exposed to the issues as much as i would have been you know a few months ago or whatever but i don't see as many so it actually seems like this summer they are kind of sticking up to their promises now I'd, i don't know if they really promised to say this anywhere publicly but it was kind of a promise to really put in a lot more effort this summer into the game which is cool to see because I'm, as i'm sure you guys noticed i've been playing other games a lot more just because they've been a lot more fun and suppressor laser flashlight sitting okay now there's one there's literally just one person who has to die and it's him i i need to kill this guy before the game ends because that was just disgusting what he did what he is doing is absolutely gross and does not deserve to be sitting back here. You had to die. I'm sorry, bud. You were the last and final wish for this game. <laughs> but yeah, this makes me really excited that it does show that they are putting out major updates and quite a lot of them. So I'm really interested to see where PF is going to go from here on out. And I really am excited for the future of it. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.